<clears throat> Beautiful people, as always, welcome back. I am the storyteller. This is Ignite Your Purpose, the daily show, vlog, podcast, where I speak about longevity through a healthy lifestyle. What does that like height? <laughs> what does that healthy lifestyle involve? A mix of the mental, spiritual, and physical knowledge. People, that makes mad sense, right? It's the mind, body, soul trifecta, where every day we go from negative to positive. We're trying to be just a little bit better, smarter, smarter, wiser than we were yesterday. All right, I am the storyteller. These stories come from things that happen either directly or indirectly in my life. And I'm not coming from a judgmental spot. I'm not coming from a better than or worse than spot. I'm basically using these lessons in my Soto Zen practice to educate myself, to hire myself, to further myself. And on that note, I spit them back at you so that it can touch your soul and help you learn as well because I feel that they're helping me. So why the hell wouldn't they help you, right? All right. Something uh, that I am very acutely aware of now that we've started to Ignite Your Purpose, now that we have the... Um, courses out now that we have been working with some people i've been working with people for a hot minute now um i have my own mentors i have some mentors in crossfit i have some mentors in health i have some mentors in soto zen i have mentors all over the place teachers whatever you want to call them all right i want to speak to you about meeting them halfway and i say that simply because of this there's been a few people who have come into my life come into the courses and asked us an abundance of questions. We've done our best to help them, and there's just, it just fizzles out, it just ends. There's no follow up, there's no determination, there's no uh, accountability, there's no financial skin in the game, I would say. So these people taper off, they fizzle off, fizzle off right? For me, personally, I pay everybody for everything they do. My Soto Zen, it's a paid class, all right? I've been doing that for 10 years. CrossFit, there's certain courses I continue to take that I pay for. Health, same thing. I'm educating myself all the time. Now, I do have that drive. I do have that want. But I also have the accountability and the financial investment kind of forcing me to keep going. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of the free courses we've given out, I've definitely noticed there's, I'm going to say a high percentage, man, probably 70% of the people who just take that knowledge and you never hear from them again. There's a chosen few who want more. Um, but a lot of it is just that quick pill fix, that overnight success story and that does not exist so the point of this conversation for us all listening and us all on this is that we have to meet the universe halfway which also means we have to meet life halfway which means we also have to meet all the challenges and goals in our life halfway which means at the base form we have to show up every day wanting to change wanting to improve right these coaches for me <clears throat> these mentors for me these teachers for me they write out the course. I either sit there and I can go one ear in one ear and out the other, right? Because I'm paying for it. So it's all on me. Or I can sit there and want it. Now there's homework at the end of the class. There's to-do list. There's things to do. But again, they put it out there. They cannot make me do it. There's something that is in each one of us that we have to turn on at some point to further ourselves. You know, we can come home, <clears throat> we can pretend we're studying, we can pretend we're taking the course, and then we can watch the movies, and we can get comfy with our safe blanket, and suck our thumb, and, and wake up and do it all over again tomorrow, right? There is no change there. There might be some knowledge gains, but if you're not implementing that change, if you're not moving out of your comfort zone, we are not, as a people, as a person, growing. We are not evolving. Evolving has some pains. It has to deal with fear. It has to deal with insecurities. It has to deal with getting outside of your comfort zone and everything that comes with and from that. So again, if you're taking courses right now, if you're in a school, if you're, if you're in a university, you understand what I'm talking about. You can show up to that class. The teacher doesn't care if you're there or not, if you're doing this, that, the next. It's on you. 
to actually be there for yourself. There's got to be a want on your end. For example, if somebody told me, okay, you have to go and do a, something I'm not really good at, mechanic course. You know, I'd probably be interested in it just to learn something new, but I don't really have those skills. I'm not really good at getting in there and getting dirty with car parts. You know what I mean? So for me, I don't think that would be a good fit. If somebody said, okay, we're going to go take you into a high-end marketing course, man, I would be there. I would be go gun ho I would get there early. I would be talking to people. Whereas with the other course, the mechanic course, I probably show up just because that's who I am if I paid for it. Uh, but I don't really see an end game in it for me. So I'd be like, well, would I stay after class? Would I talk to this guy? Would I talk about starting a mechanic shop? Would I this, this, and this? It might not be there for me. So understand, again, this takes some internal work. You have to understand where you're at and your wants before taking these courses. If you're just like, man, I want to, yeah, I want to lose 10 pounds and I'm going to sign up for a Get Your Purposes free course, that, that might not be the, the end all be all. You know what I mean? We'd have to actually get you in there, figure out what you're eating. I mean, there's so much more to it than just there's these, this free course that I want to lose 10 pounds. And if I don't, it's their fault. You, need, you know what I'm saying? It's that placing the blame on yourself instead of others mentality that we have to all subscribe to from now on. If we want to make those life changes for the better, for those successes, for those dreams, for those hopes, for those aspirations, the responsibility has to be on us. I will leave you on that note. Um, I bless and thank my mentors. Um, I look forward to seeing them every day from my, like I said, my workout, my mentality, my defense classes. I mean, self-defense classes, sorry. I'm learning every day. They're taking time out of their day. It is an energy exchange, but I show up. I try to be better. I try and get better. In your lives, please do the same. It's so well worth it. As always, I thank you for joining the show. We will talk to you tomorrow. Have a great one. Do your best, forget the rest.